What's going on guys, Kyger here. We have the collaboration right around the corner next week. Let's talk about what's going on this week right before it. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so I'm going to start with SCA, Southeast Asia. They have a bunch of uh, returning stuff coming through. A Electric Fire Dragon mount. Uh, this is a privilege one. I do have a Select Your Privilege video to help you decide what to go with that. Now they all have three different types of weapons returning. These are, uh, pa not Pandemonium, but uh, three of our oldest kind of ones coming back. And it's interesting, they're doing a roulette, and for winning the roulette, you get the universal weapon card, which you use in the shop to pick any of the weapons that you want of those. As you see here, uh, the universal weapon card, and then it re requires a card to get either Grandeur of Ceremony, Fallen Weapon, or Purgatory. Purgatory is, I think, the first one that's ever come through. We also have Dumpling Hat, which is hilarious. Uh, Love Messenger as the uh, chat thing. And Lion Dance Mask, which uh, was uh, last year. Then they have a Lavender Banner. I suggest entirely skipping this. Um, I mean, it's nice to have these, but once we have the uh, collaboration... It's definitely going to be better than Lavender. Now, looking at their selection packs, it's actually a lot worse than over on Global. Where on Global, the 5, 10, and 20 were all about the same, with 5 being slightly better. Um, over here, they're kind of trash, with only the $20 one being okay, and the 40 actually being better than Global, but everything else is kind of trash in comparison. Uh, they have a recharge event. This is actually good to jump on right now because it's going to be right before the event. Uh, the collaboration with, uh, I think, the furthest you would go, no matter how much you spend, is 15000 This gives you some summons and stuff to be ready. Uh, how this converts into dollars, it'll be... Uh, 250 sounds like a lot but the collaboration is a is a big deal jumping over into global they want you to spend all your money right before the collaboration comes this is a holy selector we have four fairies here as far as who you should be going for pve twin lotus and gypsophilia are very very good for pvp licorice is the is the standout here with mistletoe being decent in AoE PvP matchups. Then we have the Holy Bundle here. Uh, this happens with all of them. Uh, if you want to get a copy but don't want to use your summons, you can do two of the six dollars right here, uh, two of the two dollars, and two of the three dollars. It'll cost you twenty-two dollars to get whichever of the four that you want. Then we have a total consumption. Uh, this is really one that you kind of want to skip uh, because we have the actual events coming, but it's up to you if you have some extra Kabbalah. Uh, this is the summons that we talked about. 120 will give you uh, whatever one you want, and then 30, and then 50 after to do another one each. Like I said, uh, if you have a bunch of tickets, 120 is the furthest I'd, I would go, but I would suggest skipping the banner. Then we have a, another event going on. Uh, they're adding the Hydra of Flames here, as well as allowing you to buy all the older ones. Uh, the mirror thing, so what you can do here is once you beat 1-1, one, one, you can activate this red one right here to get 20% additional points if you have Hydra of Flames on your loadout for the rest of it. Now, once you go through, everyone's going to get the same points up to 7-10 uh, right here uh, based on 
you know, as long as you clear it, you're going to get the same points. If you have Hydra Flames, you'll get 20% additional all the way up. And then these last five here that are going to be in the last four days of the event. And it's really about the time. How it, it literally shows you right there, it's a clock. Uh, you will get additional points based on how quickly you clear it. Uh, people, if you have a high roster, are clearing it in two to four seconds. This is just how strong they are. And pre-casting a lot of spells like armor, getting your preparation ready before the start of the battle, as well as prepping your fairy summons when you click the button. But that's it for global. Uh, I do have to show you guys right here. So this is a picture that everyone's been seeing. A collaboration picture of Remaru and the girl in the background. I've gotten questions about who this is. And it's uh, this is what you've always seen. The one on the left is global. The one on the right is SEA. Uh, she has she doesn't even show up in the story it's just uh, there uh, I think she was supposed to be an NPC they talk about um, like an altar of Iris that could be her but uh, hasn't really shown up in the story but that's the same girl that shows up in it and people that don't know collaboration uh, we have one of the uh, lead moderators over on the official discord that says slime collab slash events are coming back on the first if we look at the calendar the first is monday that's generally when sea gets their events next week and generally uh on tuesday slash wednesday which would be the second or third is when global gets their events they could do it early on the first to just to make it the full month or they could do it on our normal dates kind of don't know We'll see. Till next time, guys.